It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. again last night and it blew in a lot of leaves a lot of bugs on the deck today and just yesterday it washed it that's what happens when you keep the boat outside and hey good deal you made it I'm John Graviscus it's awesome to have you back around the boat what I'm in this is a brand new 2020 Kencraft they've been around for 45 years this is their number one selling boat and it's a skiff it's a flat bottom boat I was in Moorhead City sea trialing it probably in a two foot chop. And I'm telling you, traditionally, these flat bottom skiffs will beat the tar out of you whenever you get out into any type of wave action, you know? This is so much different. Actually, you, man, the faster you go, the smoother the ride, okay? And I can't believe how stable this platform is. You can fit a tremendous amount of people on it. And I wanna take a look at the seating options, okay? We have a forward seat right here in front of the center console. Probably get two adults here. All right, two people. The rocket launcher back here, this, this leaning post, an adult, it's, it's, it's a one person seat. You know, yeah, an adult with a kid, but it's a one person seat. Back here, we have two stern aft jump seats, if you will. So five adults, but take a look at how much room we have for seating in this boat. We could easily put 10 people, 15 people on this boat. And I'm thinking about adding some seats up front here. Take a look. I've got some friends of mine that are metal fabricators. Um, I know Bobby over at Birds All Marine. There's a lot of guys that are in this industry. But I was thinking about maybe some fold down bench seats. I could probably go 40 inches here, 40 inches here. That would at least give us seating for nine passengers. You know, if, if people are just sitting on the gunnel, you're out into any type of seat. First, there's not a whole lot to hold on to, but also the shock could really hurt your spine. So that's why uh, people like the seating with the, with the vinyl, the foam, everything else. But, uh, but there's still a tremendous amount of room. And I wanna maybe kind of explore more affordable options. I, I don't know what the metal fabrication would cost me. I know the upholstery is gonna be pricey, but, uh, but let's get into it together. How about if we work out a little trade-off? Let's get everybody at home. Let's get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us. As we're working and tinkering right around the boat. And then in exchange, we're gonna be letting everybody in on a whole lot more ways to make your boat ship shape. All right, let me get these bugs out of here. Ship Shape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Hi, I'm Chris Vassell, one of the mechanical engineers at Deco Boat Lift. Since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system. So we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. Other place you'd rather be than on the water, living your passion. Whether it's a serene day at the lake, cruising the coastline, or using the wind to power you along your course, only Sunbrella fabrics combine style and comfort above and below deck with the absolute best performance and warranty on land and sea. Now in our 45th year, KenCraft introduces the all-new 2020 KenCraft Bay Rider Bay Boats and Skiffs, powered exclusively by Yamaha, specifically designed to fish hard, specifically designed to cruise well with your family. Can there really be one boat that does both exceedingly well? Yes, there can, with a KenCraft. KenCraft, top tier fit and finish. KenCraft, only the best, most expensive marine hardware integrated. Can it be yours? Of course it can. Affordably, KenCraftBoats.com.
Welcome back. You're watching Shipshape TV. Boat improvement made easy. Take a look at how much deck space I have on my brand new KenCraft 2260. It's a skiff, and I'm telling you, you could probably get 20 people on this boat. And I'd like to add some comfortable seating that's affordable. And where we're now at is Ocean Tamer. And uh, we have Frank Aberzini on the program. Frank, if you were to have like a metal fabricator, maybe it's a Bird's All Marine, you know, use the anodized aluminum frame, put on a vinyl seat with a cushion, a backrest, you know, maybe it's a big back bench seat. Ballpark, what might that run me? Well, the cushions alone are probably going to be four to five hundred. Uh, then you have the metal fabrication as well, which is probably another four to five hundred. Versus a, a really comfortable type of chair that's portable. Okay, it's called a, a marine grade beanbag chair. And what are we looking at price wise? So our products start at $79.95 and go up to $149.95, depending on the size and style you choose. Okay, how is it that a beanbag chair is more comfortable, especially when you're running the boat, versus a fixed seat? So we fill our products with a closed cell virgin polystyrene bead. This is a premium filler. It's the, the best on the market. It's closed cell, meaning it doesn't absorb water but it does absorb shock. So it conforms to your body, your, sh your shape and size versus the next guy. It's gonna to form to, to whatever size body you put into it. And it wraps around you, it hugs your body, and it absorbs all that shock. So when, you're, when you're, the boat's running, it's a little choppy, you're going you know, up and down over the waves, you're gonna be able to sit there comfortably. You'll feel your body going up and down, but you don't feel that hard jolt that goes through your spine. What, what makes a beanbag chair marine grade versus like a traditional uh, like you're in your living room, kids are watching TV on a beanbag chair. So we manufacture all of our products with marine grade materials. All so right. we're using a heavy duty 26 ounce marine vinyl, all double stitched with a heavy duty marine thread. Okay. When I say marine, that mean, means it's UV mildew resistant. It's also a heavier duty material. So when it's outside, you're not gonna have mildew problems. You're not gonna have the, uh, an issue with the sun deteriorating the vinyl or the thread. This Whereas, looks uh, carbon fiber. Yep. That's is a that carbon, just a look? It's or a that... carbon fiber textured look. Um, so just a little bit of a you know fancier look if somebody's going for something like that. It uh, is an option. Do, do people like myself, do, do I have a choice in, in a particular style of a beanbag chair? Or is it one size fits we all? We offer four different models, and then each model comes in several sizes. Okay, what's this one? That is the teardrop. That's oh. our biggest seller, and in you know just our most versatile product. Okay, four different sizes. You have a small, a medium, what a large, an extra large, something like so that. So it depends on the model. Some models come in two sizes, some come in three, some come in four. The teardrop actually comes in four different sizes, which is the small, the medium, the medium long neck, and the large. So is, is that based on like how tall a person is, what they weigh? Yeah. So your boat size, passenger size, intended use. So based on you know the largest passenger, the size of the boat, what you know what it can hold, and what you're going to use the product for. Do you just want to sit? Do you want to be able to lounge? Do you know what what are you going to do with the product? Okay, very good. So uh, so a teardrop is absolutely uh, an option. Yeah. Th this next one, this this is called a wedge. Correct. And where and how do you use a wedge beanbag chair versus a teardrop? So the wedge was designed originally for small boats in tight areas. So it wedges into those tighter areas better. Um, a lot of my big boat guys are now using the wedge as well because it takes up a little bit less deck space and they can drop it in next to the leaning post in the gunnel or the center console in the gunnel. So if your wife wants to ride next to you versus in the back of the boat, you can drop it in and she can sit right there next to you. Well, traditionally people will put the beanbag chairs in the stern of the Correct. boat. It, it's the most comfortable seat right. on the boat. And that's the smoothest part of the boat when you're running in right. any type of a sea, mm -hmm. going across any type of wave. But what's cool about the, the wedge is uh, the passenger can either sit facing forward, right. or if you're taking spray, you can turn it around, right? right? Mm -hmm. And it kind of protects that passenger from taking any of that spray. Correct. And yet they're still uh, really close to whoever's driving the boat, right. and a lot of people like that. Right. W what are the other two models? We also offer the traditional round, which is just like the 1960s traditional round, only manufactured with marine grade materials. And then we offer the armchair as well, which has a backrest, armrest. It's a sitting position chair, so it's not quite as versatile as the teardrop. But if you want to, if all you want to do is sit, it's a very, very comfortable option. Okay, now color choices. How mm -hmm. many do you have? We actually have 25 different colors that we offer, 20 of our standard vinyl and five of the carbon fiber. Let's get into your new website. Mm -hmm. um, it's interactive, and I think it's really gonna help people get a great visual um, you know, aid, if you will, on what would kind of look cool on the boat. Yeah, so once you go on our site, you can choose the size and style that, that, you, that you're interested in. And once you get to that next screen, you can actually 
you know, change the color of the bean bag on the screen, see what it's going to look like before you make your purchase. Why, why do people go with the white? Uh, so often in the center. So the white is going to be the coolest to sit on. So most of our customers using them on the boat will have a white center and you know then they'll change the side color to match the color of their boat or or you know whatever they're trying to do. But you don't have to have a white center. You can go with any color option that you that you you prefer. Okay, l let's say for example you're a big sports fan. Mm -hmm. uh, you might want to pick orange. Mm -hmm. All right, and you could have like a, a gator blue, mm -hmm. right center. Same thing with like an Ohio State fan, a Correct. Clemson fan, you know whatever. Boat show season is, is upon us, and every year, I know that you're at the same spaces. Big one coming up is Miami. Right. And, and where are you located at the Miami International Boat Show? So at the Miami show, we are in the Sport Fish Tent, which is Tent D, uh, main center aisle. When you walk in the tent, come right down the center. We'll be on the left-hand side. They can come to the booth. They can look at all of our colors. They can look at each model. They can discuss things with us. If they have any questions on sizes or styles, we can help them with that. Do you ever have any specials at the boat show? Yeah, we always do boat show specials. So if you come see us at any of the shows this, this spring, you know, you're going to get you know discounted pricing there at the show. Our audience up in the Northeast, they they love going to the Atlantic City boat mm -hmm. show. You're going to be there. Be Atlantic City uh, as well. Palm Beach coming Palm up. Palm Beach. But if they're not going to the boat show, they can go to the website. And, and please give everybody the website. Our website is www.ocean-tamer.com. Okay. So they can go right to the website. Like I said, it's all interactive. They can you know check that out and um, you know place an order right on the site or give us a call. Well, I'm thinking about going with the teardrop right here. And let's real quick, Frank, take a break. But when we come back, I would like to go through the actual manufacturing of my seat, okay. which I think are going to be really great. We're going to get into logos and how that's going to not only help the boat owner, but also boat builders, okay, if they're looking to have that brand uh, out in the public. Everybody wants that, and we'll cover it right after this. Exceptional boater experience inspires Yamaha owners for life. Reliability's a big reason why. And right now, Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event's a great reason to buy. Purchase a qualifying 2.5 to 350 horsepower Yamaha Outboard and get a choice of additional warranty protection or receive a generous dealership credit. Exceptional reliability, exceptional deals. It's Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event. Visit YamahaOutboards.com for further details. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two, at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official C-Star authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Take TV. Hey, John. So during the break, we actually got started on the uh, the chairs that we were, you know, putting on your boat along with you know, about 50 other chairs for customers that we have in progress right now. Welcome back. We're in Palmetto, Florida at a company called Ocean Tamer, and they are the world's leader when it comes to marine beanbag chairs, at least in my opinion. And we have Frank back on the program. Frank, you've got multiple panels here. We're, we're making a teardrop beanbag chair. Correct. What do you call what do you call the drawing out on, on a single sheet of vinyl? So this is nesting. So we layered, I think there's about 52, 55 layers here. And um, then they, they go ahead and, and lay the pattern out and then get everything cut. So, they so, so this is today's order. All those different colors that you're seeing, including my gray, mm -hmm. this is today's order. Yeah, well, this is, this is uh, the teardrop orders for today. We also have rounds, armchairs, and wedges wow. to cut today. Wow, OK, so you're doing quite a bit of volume yes. here. Now, uh, what is this tool called? It looks to me like a jigsaw mm -hmm. or something. Uh, I saw that being used when they were actually cutting the marine grade vinyl. Correct. It's, it's, it's a cutter that we use to cut all of our vinyls with. 
Um, cut multiple layers with that, anywhere from one to two layers up to about 60 different layers. Okay, so what we're looking at here, are, are these, these are white centers? These are all the white centers for the orders that we were cutting today, which includes the white centers for, for your bean bags as well. Okay, fantastic. And where does it go from, it's cut out, to now it's becoming a bean bag Okay, here. so everything will get paired up. We'll pair the centers with the sides. They'll go over to the sewing station where everything will go, you know, to get sewn. But let's talk about the thread. Is, is it different than a traditional type of thread? It is. It's a marine grade thread, so it's a, it's a, a heavier duty thread. Um, UV milder resistant, just like the vinyl. And then we double stitch everything here, which gives it, you know, more strength so that it can handle the, you know, the, the pounding that it's going to take on the boat when, with somebody using the product. Okay. Now, one of these seamstresses, volume-wise, about how many chairs could they sew in a day's time? Depends on the size and style. So um, some of the styles do take a little bit longer than the others, but usually between 30 and 45 a day per are, sewer. Are, once it's sewn, are we now ready to actually put in the, the filler? And again, yep. what is that filler? It's special. So it's a closed cell virgin polystyrene bead. Um, like I said, the, it, it does come in different densities. We use the, the highest quality on the market. So it's, it's uh, going to be... Uh, closed cell, which means it does not absorb water, mm -hmm. and it's a denser, a denser bead, so that when you're using it, it doesn't crush down and and you know break down too quickly. It, it, you know, it's going to you know need replenished over time, but it will last longer than your, your traditional bean bags will. You bag it, you box it, it's out the door. Correct. Um, we were we were kind of guesstimating on anodized aluminum framing with a vinyl seat, a backrest. Ballpark about a thousand dollars. Correct. Okay, just just for now. Now, here is my chair. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm actually putting two of them right mm -hmm. now to start off with mm -hmm. uh, into the boat. It's about the same amount of seating. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we looking at price wise? And I see that we have a logo up here. Mm -hmm. You do work with the boat builders. We do. Okay. You also work with the boat owners. Yep, the customers. Mm -hmm. What do you call this logo here? That's our heat transfer logo, which is twenty dollars per right. share to upgrade to that. Over there, that's a customized uh, one. That that's embroidery, that right? That is embroidered, correct. So that that offers several color options. So you can, you know, with the heat transfer, is all single color. With the embroidering, we can do as many colors as you would like. You know, a lot of sport fish guys, they have their own logos. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like they're a, a manufacturer or mm -hmm. anything, but they have their own logo or their boat correct. and everything. You can do all of that. We can. Okay, so versus about a thousand dollars, we have two chairs with the logos priced, what, what are people looking so at? So the chair that you are getting, which was the teardrop medium long neck, retails for $119.95. With the $20 logo, it's $139.95. Okay. So two of those are gonna put you just under $280. $280 versus about $1,000. Correct. One more time, give everybody at home their website. It's www.ocean-tamer.com. Well guys, we're going to head back across the state to our TV studios in Jupiter, Florida. I want to see how they look mm -hmm. in the boat. And uh, Frank, thank you so much for the look around. Thank we'll you. be back right after this. Why is Sea Hunt now the number one selling fiberglass center console style boat 18 to 30 feet in America? Because when you buy a Sea Hunt, you get so much more. More standard features, more efficient running hulls. Look, guys, I'm running 34 miles an hour on just one engine. More cockpit space, more family time out on the water. More fishable, more funnable, so much more affordable. Sea Hunt. More, more, more. Are you tired of fighting foul odors in your car? The easy to use Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright uses the power of chlorine dioxide to eliminate even the worst smells. From cigarettes and pets to fast food and sweaty kids, this EPA registered chlorine dioxide technology fights the odor causing bacteria, the source of the stink. Don't just cover it up, eliminate it with the Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright. Introducing the Mentos Anchor, the most reliable anchor ever made. Other anchors often can't set in firm, aggressive bottoms, thus endangering your safety. The Mentos Anchor will not fail you. It will set the first time, every time, even in the most demanding situations. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Shipshape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. Let's do a jet, man. 
Not removing any of this oxidation. This, this is a wool cutting pad, dude. What's going on, John? You look like you're having some trouble. I'm, I'm frustrated. This is a wool cutting pad. I've been using it all morning. Okay. It's not removing any of the oxidation. What am I doing wrong? Well, I can see that pad right there. It's saturated. It's filled up with chemicals. Well, I'm using your buff magic. Isn't that what I'm supposed to put on here? Yes, and it will cut initially, but after a while of using something like this, and when I get the whole boat, the one whole side, that thing's gonna get loaded up with dead gel coat, dead uh, buff magic, and material that's been used and become saturated where it can't really cut that effectively anymore. These things are expensive, man. I can't be going through these things, you know, two, three pads a day. That's a lot of money. Well, yeah, you don't have to throw them away, though. We have something called Serious Pad Cleaner, and that can help clean those pads. You don't have to uh, throw them away, you can reuse them. Hold on, okay, uh, how, do, how would we do that? Okay, so a chemical is a citrus-based powder, and what it does is you just basically mix it into a water-based solution. Uh, a five-gallon bucket's great, we'll place to soak a bunch of different pads. How, how much of the, the pad cleaner do you put like in, in a gallon of water? So you're gonna use one scoop per one gallon. We include a little scoop inside the, uh, the uh, bottle itself. Okay, so, so say you got four or five pads, how many gallons of water would I use? I would go ahead and mix a three gallon solution. Okay, so, so three scoops, and um, we put the pads in there. What's actually taking place over this 15, 20 minute period of time that we're gonna be waiting? So what the chemical does is it actually lifts all the dirt, the oils, the gel coat, anything that's trapped in the wool fibers there, or in the foam itself, it doesn't matter what kind of pad you choose to use, and lifts it all to the top. And what happens then is after it's been soaking, you can pull it out of that solution. You can use something like our utility scrub brush here, and you can actually scrape the material off the top and then rinse that with fresh water really thoroughly, try to get any extra soap and solutions that's out of there, wring it dry a little bit and let it air dry. So totally we can repurpose our expensive pads for detailing the boat. I think that's great. Is there any way to maybe repurpose the uh the serious pad cleaner. Of course, they can be used for all kinds of different soft goods. One of the big things right here is you see this dock line? That's that gross. Nasty. It's been well used. It's been sitting on our dock for a couple months now, and you can see it gets really, really dirty. When, but when this touches the boat, guys, I'm telling you, it leaves marks, and it, and everybody has this problem. Sure, absolutely. But we can clean it using serious pad cleaner. So once you're done using it for the pads, just throw your dock lines in there. And the same thing that happened for the pads is going to happen to that rope. All the five, all the dirt's going to get lifted out of the fibers here and brought to the top. And then after it's been soaking, you can use another one of our tools called our rope and cord brush. And what this does is it wraps around the line, locks in place, and makes it easy to run and clean that whole dock line in wow. one easy step. That is fantastic. You know, we have a lot of people in the audience that are relatively new to pleasure boating. Sure. They might not know all the tricks and the tips and the shortcuts and everything of how to detail a boat or to take care of it, yep. keep it clean. But you have these amazing videos uh, online on your website. Yep. C could you lead people to that? Because I'm telling you, it, it's invaluable information. Yeah, it's really easy. You just head to surehold.com where we've got all kinds of videos, tips, and tricks to help keep your boat clean and simple. There are some things not to love about boating. Refueling with a gas can certainly makes that list. If you're tired of fumbling around with today's gas can nozzles or impossible to reach fuel fills, the LilyPad Marine Funnel is for you. The dock-mounted design helps keep both hands free, allowing you to stand comfortably as you transfer up to five gallons of fuel in 50 seconds. When finished, simply coil your hose up in the cabinet and enjoy some fun in the sun. Order your LilyPad Marine Funnel today at lilypadmarine.com. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. The ultimate bucket list. Let's start with an ergonomic corrosion-free rope handle. Check. You want a caddy to organize your supplies and lift them out with ease. Check. Add in a bucket grate to elevate wash tools out of dirty water. Check. While you're at it, let's include integrated soap measuring cups. Check. How about a base that won't let your bucket scratch, tip, or slip? Check. Top it off with a secure lid that doubles as a place to sit down. Check and check. The SureHold One Bucket System. For everything on your bucket list, visit OneBucket.com. Big news! Full episodes are now available on the ShipShake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. We really tried to film 
the end of this program yesterday, but it was raining. And I don't know if you can tell, but today is kind of Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, welcome back. Brian Farrell is uh, on our KenCraft 2260. And Brian, you're in one of the Ocean Tamer uh, beanbag chairs. Not brand new. No, this is... How old is that? This is the one that you got um, for your CV, probably six years old now. Right. And we've used the heck out of it, but... Stand, stand up and show works. everybody the condition. Okay. You can see how well and why marine gray vinyl is so vital. Okay, when you're talking about a beanbag chair. One from a home center, phew, it'd be destroyed in a month. Definitely. In a rain. I mean, one, one, once it got wet, yeah. it'd be done. It was a little bit dirty. Mm -hmm. You cleaned it up this morning back at the uh, studio. What'd you use? Uh, Starbright Vinyl Clean and Vinyl Guard. So I used the clean, sprayed it on, wiped it down with a towel, gave it a little rinse, and then put the, the Vinyl Guard on, and uh, it'll stay clean longer. Okay, that, that's a teardrop, okay, yep. just like we got, just like we ordered. And throw, throw that in the stern. Okay, and I'm gonna bring up both of these. We have two additional seats. There's one, I'm gonna grab the other one. And uh, Brian, I would love your opinion like, like sit in that forward seat on, in front of the console right there. Show everybody, how, how comfortable is that seat? I, I mean, it, it is comfortable. Okay, now, now I want you to sit in one of these teardrops. Okay, and is it more comfortable? Because again, these are priced, they start at $79. Yeah. The, the big difference is you get a little bit more lounge happening and shock absorbing because of the beads. Right. And you're sitting lower in the boat, so it's a little bit more of a stable rod too. Right. Now you see how much room we have out front. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could absolutely have the, the beanbag chairs here. We can set them up back here. Again, I mean, this boat sits comfortably five people with the current seating. Yeah. Okay. We just added three more seats very, very affordably. I, I, I love the color match that we did with the gray and white matching our vinyl mm -hmm. inside the boat. But actually, the beanbag chair from the CV yeah. really matches the hull collar, which is Caribbean green, which, which I think is fantastic. We got a couple people that we need to thank, my friend. Uh, we need to thank Frank Aberzini and the entire crew at Ocean Tamer, Captain Sam with Surehold Industries. What was he doing with that rope? Uh, he was using a pad cleaner to actually clean the rope. Neat little trick. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was really great. Uh, naturally, we need to thank Bob Brunson and the Brunson family, uh, everybody at KenCraft. They've been building. This is the most popular boat, Brian, mm -hmm. that they've uh, sold in, in, in the 45 years. It's a flat bottom boat, but man, it doesn't ride like it. I love it. It's just it's as versatile as can be. You know, you can ride wide open um, in five inches of water in this boat. Yeah, it's about jack weight for sure. Oh my gosh, it is, it is fantastic. We need to thank everybody from Yamaha, the guys from Starbright, but most importantly, Brian, who do we need to thank? All the viewers at home. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us right here. We only have a couple hours before our kickoff starts at 6.30, but... Um, Come on, Chief. Yeah, they haven't won in 50 years. Man. I know. They, I, I don't know, they could pull it off. I think they will. But I'm kind of liking the quarterback from San Francisco. That might be good yeah. too. And you know, and that, that, that whole Patriots tie, <laughs> which you know, I'm, that's my second favorite Get team. out of here. Hey, uh, they're coming after me. I'm just kidding. Uh, the, we gotta go, I'm John Brabiski. Hey, get out of here, come on, I'm gonna back the boat up. Let's Sounds go. Good. Hey, did you put the drain plug in? It's already in. Awesome. See you guys. Sea Deck was founded by a group of individuals who share a love of life on the water. 13 years later and more than 130 employees strong, our passion has grown stronger than ever before. We are fishermen. We are paddleboarders. We are surfers. We, we are, are parents. parents. We are Captains for Clean Water.